Good morning once again. Um, this is a continuation of my discussion, the video lecture that I presented yesterday. So, this is a continuation of the Prohibited Acts of Cyber Act, Cyber Crime Act of 2012. So, we ended our discussion to cyber sex. So today, we will continue the discussion. We in the so let's continue about unsolicited commercial con communications under uh, para uh, paragraph three of this law. So the transmission of commercial electronic communication with the use of computer system which seeks to advertise, sell, or offer for sale products are prohibited unless muna niya ako ang historian niyo gahapon when there is an affirmative consent the intent of the communication is for service and administrative announcement so kaning niya mga unsolicited commercial communication katong mga communication that was been thrown to the respondents or shall we say the readers of the messages coming from their offices, legitimate offices, dili na siya bawal. So, direta sa 4, libel, the unlawful acts of the unlawful or prohibited acts as defined in Article 355 of the Revised Penal Code as amended through computer system or any other similar means which device which may add device in the future. Muni siya ang pinakapato, pinakapato nga problema karon in cybercrime. Because there are so many anonymous persons creating their account, especially on Facebook or any other for platforms of social media, na they are making an identity theft or an anonymous information from them. So how are we going to locate them? So that's the big problem in this law. Because it is very hard to prove identity of person. Unless otherwise, if there is a person that would testify that the person holding that name is the person you are going to complain. Kay Kaling ni Aman good nga law, all laws, uh, all violations committed is one degree higher to the laws prescribed in the revised penal code. We will tackle the, their violations later. Next is aiding, abating in the commission of cybercrime. So yun ani, you can aid Aid, tabang. You can share, if you share, um, if, you, if you share or you aid in the commission of the crime, you are also punishable. So, unsa ka ayaw nga limit ang pagtabang? If you give your cell phone to other for the purpose of communicating, but iya ang gigamit ang imua, account either to post uh, to post messages or either nagpakaulaw siya that is already um, a violation but if your purpose or your intent is nagpahulam lang ka you cannot be you cannot be charged for aiding because if your intention is different from what he intended, diha na mo magka, diha na mo mag, diha na mo manggilalis. But, make sure you are going to testify. Kay di rin man good. Evidence don't lie. Muna siya isa sa pinakalison. And because of the misrepresentation, misrepresentation of 
um, the persons dire yun ta mga daot. Attempt in the commission of cybercrime. Any person who will willfully attempts to commit any of the offense in this act shall be held liable. Attempt in the commission of cybercrime. Nihimo ka, pero nakita ka. So, ka, attempt, pinaka-basic yun na, it is very self-explanatory. When does this attempt in the commission of cybercrime happens? So, the penalties, dinagko kayo ning niya siya ng kaso ang cybercrime. Okay, muna siya ang penalty. Any person found guilty of any of the punishable acts enumerated in Section 4A shall be punished siya ng imprisonment of presyon mayor or a fine of at least 200,000 up to a maximum amount commensurable to damage. Bugat kayo ang penalty and isa pa, one degree higher to the risk, to the offense risk kind of the revised penal code. So, next is enforcement and implementation. Kanina, who would be the responsible person that are, who is the responsible person that, that, who are tasked to enforce this law? Only the PNP anti cyber crime group and the NBI, who is the NBI or Center by Special Investigators to exclusively handle cases violation is up. Kung kanin siya, pinag-resold yun ka ayaw siya na yung But if you are going to follow the technical efforts ma-prove ninyo during the process of the crime scene investigation na that person committed the violation of the sound. For example, there is an ongoing, uh, there, example, there, there is a cyber crime offense. Okay. Pinaka basic, cyber libel. A computer shop, there is a one, there is a computer shop. Natural, a computer shop, bisa kinsa lang ang tao nga mo appear para mo gamit. Because it's a business. Now, the situation goes like this. There is a person open his account for any forms of social media platforms na makakommunicate o pwede niya gamiton ng dao sa lahing tao. He performed the act or he or she performed the act but he failed to log out his account in which the identity of that person, the identity of that person was uh, the identity of that person was indicated on the screen that you are about to use. So yun ane. Karon na log out ni mo, na log out ni mo siya. Pag log out ni mo, pag na log out na ni Pag log out, butang na to, na log out na mo siya. Accidentally, ac na log out mo siya accidentally. Nadungga ni mo nga na yun na 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 hita mo, na yun na ni, na there is, um, na, there, there is a libelous act committed by that person in which kailara ko di mo. Karon, if if that offense or if that punishable acts will not be subjected for forensic examination, forensic technical examination in the cyber time unit, dili dyan na itong makroon. You have only the knowledge na katong to ang imo ang kaila or katong nagamit, is kato siya. But there are so many process in a cyber crime response. 
I will uh, I am going to teach you that um, in the next presentation that I give. So that's all for this morning. Uh, thank you.